Hi, this is Nas Nenevsky. We're doing the class's discrete structures. We're doing section 3.2, the homework problems. The section is called digraphs and graphs. So a very simple section. There's a very simple ideas. Nothing, nothing here. Okay, the idea is as far, okay, question number 1A. They give you a graph like this and they want you to give the table that describes it. So a large part of this thing is showing that a graph is a picture and a graph can also be written as an array of edges and each edge tells you where it starts and where it finishes. Very simple. So we make such an array. So this is E and this is gamma of E. Okay, so E is A, oh, I guess that's a B. Going down is a B. So E is A, B, C, D, C, D. Um, where's E? I guess there's no E. A, B, C, D. Oh, I guess that's an E. Sorry, handwriting is not perfect. E, uh, E, and F. Okay, so what does A go from? A goes from X to B. So you write it X to V. What does B go from? V to X. V to X. What does C go from? V to W. V to W. V to W. What does D go from? D goes from W to Y. W to Y. Okay. What does E go? E goes from W to Y. Okay. And F goes from Y to X. Okay. That takes care of that. That's the world's simplest problem. I promise you I wouldn't ask such a question on a test because it's too easy. Yeah, maybe I can ask it. Okay, next. Number two. Now they go the other way. They give you the table and they want you to draw the picture. Now each one of us is going to draw a different picture, but that doesn't matter. Okay, so here is the air. So let's see. The vertices, so this is number two. The vertices of G is equal to W, X, Y, and Z. Okay, the edges of G is equal to A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Okay, and now we have that table. The table says Tell me what E is, and tell me what gamma of E is. Okay, so A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and this is X comma W, W comma X, X comma X, W comma Z, W comma Y, F is W comma Z and G is Z comma Y. Okay? Okay, and we have to make a picture for this. Okay, I don't know how the picture should look because I didn't do this beforehand. Okay, so what I like to do usually is do it once and then when I see the picture better I do it better so we'll, we'll fix it so let's just let's just do it right here Hope we can get this low, hold on we have room okay so I'm gonna put W over here X over here Y over here and Z over here. Okay, again, we can we can fix it another time, but let's do this. Okay, A goes from X to W. Good. B goes from W to X. Okay. C goes from X to X. Okay, they like to, they like to draw their arrows in the middle. C goes from X to X. D goes from W to Z. Okay, we'll call it D. 
E goes from W to Y. Oh, they like to have it in the middle. So e goes from W to Y. F goes from W to Z. Oh, we had a W to Z already. Ah, messed up. No, we didn't have a W to Z. Oh, yeah. D and F go from W to Z. Z and F also goes from W to Z. Okay, and G goes from Z to Y. That's it. Can't get, can't get it. It doesn't pay to rewrite it. That's not going to get any prettier. You could probably make it into a straight line like this. Um, it's fine. It's fine the way it is. I'm going to do it like this. X. W. And so X has a little guy over there, and there's two guys here, one going this way, one going that way, and there's from W to Z. Well, anyways, that's a nice picture, but you can deform the picture and do it any way you want. Okay, number three. Um, number three. It says, which of the following vertex sequences describes path in the graph of figure A? So we have to write figure A. So I am definitely going to make a mistake here, but such is life. Terrible, not terrible. Okay, yeah, let's do it. Y, Z, V, W, U, X, S, T. Okay, oh, now we have to worry about the, the directions. So let's worry about the directions. Up, down. Down, down. This way, this way, this way, this way, this way, this way, this way. This way. Okay, great. So this is question number three. And now what they do is they give you a bunch of sequences of little things and they say, does one follow the other? Which of the following vertex sequences, that just means a list of vertices, describe paths in this diagram? So let's try it. Z, Y, V, W, T. So A is. So A works. Okay, what about B? B is X, Z, not so far good, W, T. Oh, B is good. Okay, let's look at C. D, E, F. Okay, let's do C. V, S. No, bzzzt. V goes, it goes up, not down. Oh, sorry, that's my U. Where's V? V, S. That's good. T. Good. X. No, T, X. Does not go. Okay, so C is no. How about D? Z, Y. Z, Y. S. How are you going to get from there to there? Nope, it doesn't work. Okay, E. X, uh, sorry, X, Z. X, Z, so far good. Y, good. 
V. V, good. S, good. E is good. Okay, F. S U X T. S U X. No, U to X doesn't work. U to X doesn't work. Okay, so that takes care of that. Next, number six. Okay, number six is a reading problem. Not even hard. Easy, easy. This whole this whole section is very very easy. Most people have a great intuition of what graphs are all about, so it's not really necessary. There are four basic blood types. A, B, A, B, and O. Okay? Type O can donate to any of the four types. Okay, again, I didn't make this graph perfect because I don't know how it's going to look. Maybe later we can, we can change it. But let's do this. O goes to any blood type including itself. Okay, next. Type O can denote to any of the four blood types. A and B can denote to A, B as well as their own types. So A goes to A, B goes to B, but A and B, A goes to A, B, and B goes to A, B. Okay, that's good. Next, let's, this is just reading. I'm going to denote to AB. Okay. But type AB can only denote to, that, to AB. Okay. So, and type AB can only go here. Okay. So that's it. That's the answer. Okay. The question is can we make it somewhat better? Just I don't like this this bad crossing. So let's let's do it this way. Okay, you have A B, and A can go to A B, and B can go to A B, and A can go to itself, and B can go to itself, and A B can go to itself. Okay, and now I just want to put in O, and so I'm going to put in O in the center because O goes to everywhere. O goes to itself. O goes here, and O goes there. So that's a little bit prettier than that. And it doesn't have crossings like that. So that's, I think, a better answer. Obviously, you can spread it out different ways. Okay, anyways, that's a nice, cute problem, and it's probably even medically true. Yeah, that's number six. Number ten. Which of the following vertex sequences correspond to paths in the graph of 8a? Okay, you know what? This is, oh, so they're graphs. So there's no direction. Okay, I'm sorry, this is a little bit... Uh, let's do it. I said I was going to do every problem, so I'll do every problem. Okay, W, X, Y, Z. W, X, Y... graph, not a directed graph, A, B, C. So it's a little bit, we don't have to worry about arrows, okay? D, E, F, G. This is, this is A, B, C. This is D, D, E, F, G. One, two, three, E, F, So what they do is, they give you a bunch of sequences, A through G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and they want to know, does it correspond to a path? So let's do it. You ready? A, X, oops, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, A. Z X W. Yes, that's good. We can do that. Next. W W X Z. Yes, we can do that. Next. Whoops, that was C. Sorry. That was C. 
That was C. Okay, so C is yes. B is what? W X Z. W X Z. X good. W Y W W. So B is good. Next. D W X Z Z W X Z There's no way of going from Z to Z, so there's no way of doing that. Okay? Um Z X W Z X W Y Y W Z No. Nope. Y, Y, W, Z. There's no good way of going from W to Z. So E is no. F, W, X, W. W, X, W. That's good. Do that. Okay. And Y, 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 W, W. That's good. The value that comes with the paths and the Okay, fine. Next, number 15. Give the adjacency relation A and the reachability relation R for each of the graphs in figure 8. So this is figure 8. So let's give the adjacency relationship. Okay, the adjacency relation. So, so adjacency. So this is number 15. The adjacency is what's connected to what? Okay, and the answer is y, let's start from here, y is connected to y, um, y is connected to b, uh, y is connected to a, and uh, to w, adjacent, adjacent means next to, okay, w is related to w, okay, w is related to x, And I think we only have to do one of these because we're not asking for a thing. So we're just going to write uh, x is related to z. Okay, that's it. That's the end. Now they also want the reachability relation. So we'll call it reach. Okay, and the answer is you can go from any vertex to any other vertex because they're all connected. Okay, so you go from here to here to here to here to here to here. You can't go from here to here. Adjacency, they're not next to, but you can go like this and like this. So reach is equal to, let's just write it this way. W, X, Y, Z cross W, X, Y, Z. The whole thing. Everything is related to everybody else. Okay, so that's number 15, adjacency and reachability. Now let's do the other graph. Okay, so this is 15B, technically. And it's as follows. Y, V, oops, V, W, and Z. Okay, let's do this. By the way, there's no reason in this problem, there's no reason for the letters because they're not asking uh, the letters of the of the of the edges. Okay. okay. So we're going to leave that out because we don't need it. Okay? Give the adjacency relation and the reachability relation. Okay, so let's do it. Adjacency. Let's see. Y is related to V. V is related to W. Now, it's related twice, but that's not important because even if I added it in, V comma W, it's just a repetition of set, so we can leave it alone. Okay, W is related to itself. And Z is related to Z. Again, we can repeat that because there are two loops, but that doesn't 
change anything. This is what's related to what? This is what's adjacency. Adjacency is from the word, it's like a neighbor. Okay, as opposed to that, reachability, let's just say what it is. Look, you can go through these any way you want. All, all possibilities for reachability. Okay, and the only thing is, Z is related to itself. So let's do this. Z is related to itself. That's it. And Y is related to itself. Y is related to Z. V. Reachable. Y is reachable from the, with a path of length 0 here, with a path of length 1. Y is re reachable to W. Okay, let's do the next. Ready? V is related to V. V is related to Y. V is related to W. Okay, now W. W is related to itself. W is related, reachable, to V. And W is related to Y. Okay, the main point is, this is one part. All of these three things can get to the other part. Okay, and that's the entire reachability relationship. Okay, that was pretty easy. Anyways, I hope you had a good time.